Comedian John Stewart took aim at President Biden's team for its bull blank spin on the president's poor debate performance last month as calls for him to withdraw from the race continue to mount. Stewart criticized Biden and his allies over how they have been spinning the post-debate coverage during Monday's episode of The Daily Show. He played some clips of Biden's verbal gaffes in recent months, with Stewart noting there's been some troubling dif- moments of disconnect for Biden even before the debate. Then, of course, to be fair, State of the Union concern dropped a, a little bit at the State of the Union. He kind of nailed it, but then the debate happened, and we kind of, what the, <laughs> he, he said, now, to my mind, the debate was a shocking display of cognitive difficulty, recognizable to, unfortunately, anybody who's dealt with aging parents. And it's a hard watch, he, he added, before noting that some viewers felt Biden's performance was not as noteworthy as Biden's opponent in the debate. He then played clips of Democrats who pointed out that former President Trump made numerous false claims during the debate. He then noted that there was a difference between Trump's and Biden's performances. I will tell you the difference. The difference is Trump delivered at the debate to expectation. We expect him to be crazy. But Biden's performance and the inability to articulate the times was stunning. Like, I could not believe what I was watching, he said. He then said things got worse after the debate pointed to some excuses Democrats, Biden, and the White House made for the president's rocky showing. This included White House Press Secretary Corrine Jean-Pierre explaining that Biden had a cold that night and was jet-lagged from his recent foreign trip travel. He'd been home for almost two weeks. He was jet lagged. How big is that jet? The pres- The point uh, is, for a campaign based on honesty and decency, the spin about the debate appears to be blatant bull. And the redemption tour hasn't gotten that much better, Stewart said. He also played the clip from Biden's interview with ABC News when the president was asked how he would feel if Trump won the election. I'll feel as long as I gave it my all and I did good as g- a good a job as I know I can do. That's what this is about, Biden said in the interview last week. Stewart raised his voice and pushed back on that comment. That's not what this is about. There are no participation trophies in endgame democracy. Oh, yeah, I remember FDR saying, well, if the Nazis take over Europe, at least both teams had fun, he added. Stewart also noted that he was not calling on Biden to step out of the race, but asked Democrats could open up a larger con- conversation about their candidate. Biden and his team have reiterated that he will not be stepping down from the ticket, with the 81-year-old president serving, saying that he still believes he is the best person to beat Trump. The Hills reached out to to the Biden campaign for comment. So this is interesting because Stuart's right. Um, People have an expectation of what Trump is supposed to be. And Trump, whether you liked him or not, and a lot of us do not, uh, delivered to that extent during the debate. And really, the thing, it's like this. If you're a Trump supporter who watched that debate and, you you know, you're, again, on Trump's side, he performed to the standards for which you would expect. If you're someone who despises the Republicans, maybe you like Biden, maybe you're kind of like just more so against the Republicans and you're for the Democrats, or maybe you're the biggest Biden fan in the world. He looked bad. He didn't seem like he knew where he was. He was barely able to let out coherent sentences. And a lot of the people saying this are not Trump allies hoping to help the Republicans enact Project 2025. No, there are people like John Stewart who uh, clearly are left leaning, and they're worried that if you know about Trump winning, and they feel like the way Biden performed is helping or aiding the Republicans in their quest to retake the White House. Um, where he makes the, com- I, I don't like the Nazi comparison because you know we we get caught up in all these terms. But the one thing I'll give credit to is that if you know the, the Roosevelt thing is accurate in the sense that when you're talking about saving something or I need to still be around to stop this from happening. You don't you don't get a participation trophy. So Biden should have said during that interview, I believe Trump winning will lead to, you know, X future for the country or something awful, right? He shouldn't say, well, you know, as long as I tried as hard as I could. It's like, no, this is you you want us to believe this is as they often say, the most important election of our lifetimes, that if Trump is gets back in there, he's going to do even more horrible things, right? Roll back more regulations and go, go all Machiavellian on us. Okay, well, if that's true, then you need to stress the urgency of, listen, I know I have some problems. I've got people around me that can re- reel in the ship, make sure I'm all right. Trump has way more than me. If he gets in office, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're going to almost damn near miss the problems I had. It's, they, it's incredible how like these people have run for, for so many different campaigns. Like Biden has run 
anywhere from 10 to 11 different campaigns, six Senate races, uh, three presidential campaigns, a vice president. And it's like, how are you this incapable of just stressing the urgency of if the person that is running against me wins, we're screwed. Like they don't, they, they don't even try to do that. They make it sound like it's just another old election. You know, maybe I'll win, maybe I don't, but I tried as hard as I could. Oh, man, it's, it's really scary just how, again, we have this 80-something-year-old man. And a lot of people, when they talk about his age, they're not just talking about the age itself because there are people in their 80s that do not have cognitive problems. But we have this 80-something-year-old man who has wanted to be president his whole life, so he's not going to drop out of getting a second term another four years. And a lot of us are afraid that he will not survive a full four-year term um, based off of the way that he performed. And even before, like, just putting that aside, a lot of us are worried that if they have more debates and more public appearances this year, he's going to look even worse and help Trump get another term by his own, uh, you know, admittedly not his fault type problems, but this is th this is why a lot of people are saying the Democrats are liars and, and just not telling the truth about something that they should be if they want to claim they're this honest party. 